Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Google AdSense account. If you don't know what Google AdSense is, it's the uh, commission side of Google AdWords. So uh, some people will buy traffic from Google AdWords and those can either be the ads that are displayed uh, on Google's web page itself when you do a search and you see the little text ads down the side, or it could be ads that you see that look very similar on other websites that usually say ads by Google across the bottom uh, and you'll see them in, in various places. It'll be in the headers or in the sidebars or in the footers of websites and they can be either text ads or image ads. Now how AdSense works is Google relies on you, the website publisher, to actually provide them with traffic. So you can set up a Google AdSense account and put ads on your website and every time somebody clicks on one of your ads, uh, you will get paid a certain percentage of whatever that person is paying per click. So I'm going to show you how to set up an AdSense account right now. It's pretty simple, so uh, I'm just going to jump onto my computer here. So the first thing they're going to ask you for is your website URL. So I'm going to put in here uh, vegan.eprofits. Dot com and it's going to ask you for a primary language so I'm going to choose English here and uh, there's a couple of checkboxes here I will not place ads on sites that include incentives to click on ads so in other words you don't want to have a website that's that's got you know some kind of a free giveaway but you have to click on three ads or something silly like that some people try and incentivize a click and it's actually not good for the advertiser and it's not good for the company that pays you or does business with the advertiser it's just not good business so you have you have to check that box and you have to make sure that you're not trying to incentivize anybody for uh, for clicking your your ads and the next one is I will not place ads on sites that include pornographic content. It's pretty much a no-brainer. Account type, you're going to select the account type. Uh, individual or business, in my case I would choose business because I have a company, but you can choose individual and then set up your own individual information. They're going to ask you for some tax information, that type of thing. Uh, country, so I'm in Canada. And in the pay name you'd put in you know, your company, your company name. Uh, your contact name and your street address, uh, 123 Fake Street. Obviously you're going to want to put your real address in here if you want to get checks. Toronto. And then you can click on, I agree that I can receive checks made out to the payee name list that I've listed above. Obviously, uh, you know, where you put in the, the payee name, it's got to be a bank account, a name that you've got a bank account under. Put in your telephone number here. And email preference. Uh, we'll send you service announcements that relate to your agreement with Google. In addition, send me period periodic newsletters. I personally don't like to get too much mail, so I won't check that box, but you can. How did you find out about Google AdSense uh, online forum? AdSense applicants must. I agree with that I will not click on the Google ads that I'm serving through AdSense. Okay, so this needs to be said because people think that they can just sign up to AdSense and then just go click, 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 click and look at their, at their revenue. Uh, Google knows your IP address. If you log into your AdSense account to check your revenue and then you go to your own website and start clicking on your ads, they're going to delete your account and they may ban you for life from the system. So don't you know, don't try and scam this thing for a few cents or a few dollars in, in, you know, generating your own clicks. Don't ask your friends to click on ads. This kind of stuff can get you in trouble. So uh, take these check boxes seriously. Don't just go check, check, check and submit and then break the rules later. Uh, you'll be sorry that you did. So make sure that you check that box and make sure that you, that you follow that rule. Uh, I certify that I've, that I've read the AdSense program policies. I've already read them because I have an AdSense account. Again, you should probably read the terms and conditions, especially if you're entering into a business arrangement that's going to make you a lot of money. Um, and then, I do not already have an approved AdSense account. Click here if you do. So again, I'm going to check this because if I, you know, in your case, if this is your first time doing this, you're going to want to check that box. I already have an AdSense account, so I'm actually not going to submit this information because uh, it, w it actually goes against their terms. You can only have one account. Uh, so. Uh, once this is done, you'll submit your information to AdSense and it could take a few days for them to go and look at your website. And the other, the other side of this is you need to make sure that you have a website up that has a little bit of content on it that's of value. You can't just have the, the standard WordPress Hello World page up there. They're not going to approve your account for the most part. So make sure you have a, you know, a website, a WordPress blog, something that has uh, a certain amount of content that is of value to the user before you uh, click submit here and then uh, next I'm going to show you how to actually copy the ads once you've been approved how to copy the ads to your website. 
So now that you've been approved by Google AdSense, you're going to need to actually get the uh, little snippet of ad code that they give you to put on your website so that you can start getting paid. Uh, and this is actually really easy. All you have to do is log into your Google AdSense account, click on My Ads and Add Units, and then go to New Ad Unit. There's a little New Ad Unit button here. I'll click on that. Okay. And then in the create new ad unit, it's going to ask you to give it a name. I'm just going to call this one vegan. Um, and it asks you for a size. So you should know the size of the ad space that your WordPress uh, blog or website template allows for. In my case, it's 125 pixels by uh, any height. So a lot of the time you get like a 125 by 125 pixel square. So uh, knowing that in advance helps. If you don't know that, there are some ways to kind of figure it out. Uh, you can, uh, you, there's various tools in Firefox that allow you to measure pixels and things like that. But chances are, if you're, uh, if you're using a semi-premium theme or a decent quality theme, there'll be some documentation that will tell you how big the sidebar is, which is the, the bar on the left-hand side or the right-hand side of your blog. So in my case, it's a 125, 125. So I'm just going to choose that. And you can choose, depending on the ad unit that you're going with, whether you want text ads or image ads or both. In my case, this particular size only allows text ads. And then uh, here where you've got the, the, the uh, palette options, you can actually choose the background colors and the various things, uh, sort of how your uh, ads are displayed. And this can be a really important part of how you do your ad uh, displays. In fact, uh, if you make these ad units match the color scheme of your website, in other words, you know, if there's a link color here, uh, you know, the link color is, is blue, uh, you might want to make sure that, your, uh, that, that it matches the link color on your blog. So if the link color on your blog is black, or sorry, uh, white, and the background color is black, you'd want to go in here and change your uh, title here from blue to, to white and your background to black so that it matches your blog because that makes... Uh, the ads 10 times more clickable when they can actually see uh, that they sort of fit with the layout and the design of your website. They're much more likely to just kind of click around and, and, and uh, make you more, more revenue. So play around with this. It's really simple. You simply just click on, you know, the colors that you want. Uh, you know, if we wanted to look at, I'm just going to quickly do my wife's website here. You can see she's using um, gray uh, text links on a white background. Uh, which is what we're going to try and match here. So we're just going to do this quite simply here. Pick this color of gray. The background's already set to white. Everything else should work perfectly. All right. And then down here where it says backup ads, uh, show public service ads, or show ads from another URL, or fill space with a solid color. Uh, you can actually select your own ads if you want, or you can just say show public service ads. This is for the little, there's a sort of a short period where you first launch your ads on your website. Google still has to kind of read through the context of your website and figure out what kind of ads to place on your website. So in that short term or during a time when, uh, when they may, doing, may be doing maintenance on their ad system, what's going to show up? Uh, again, it's probably a good idea to put your own custom in here, but for now I'm just going to say show public service ads to kind of make this work. And um, what else do we have here? That's all we need, I believe. And then we're just going to stick. Oh, you can create custom channels. It's not absolutely necessary, but if you're doing multiple blogs where you've maybe got 10 or 20 different blogs, you can create channels to sort of track the ad units that you put into each channel. Uh, again, that's not something I'm going to do here. It's a little bit advanced for sort of your first time doing this. I'm just going to click Save and Get Code. And you can see here that it's given me a little piece of, of uh, HTML code. The great news is you don't need to know what it says. All you have to do is right-click and copy it. We're going to close this down. And I'm actually going to close Google AdWords for now because we're not going to need that anymore. And I'm going to go to the WordPress uh, dashboard for uh, our vegan website. And if you take a look, uh, over on the left-hand side of your WordPress dashboard, there's an appearance column. Uh, and if you click the little arrow, it'll pull down several other options. And the one that you want to click on is widgets. And you'll see all these available widgets here, and you'll think, well, what is all this stuff? All you have to do is look for one called text, and you can see it right here. And you just have to drag it into your sidebar, which is over on the right-hand side in my case here. Let's see if we can get this to drag here. Just drag it over into your sidebar. There we go. 
And I can put up here in a title, sponsors, or you can, you can put anything you want up in here as long as it doesn't incentivize them to click. And then I'm just gonna paste in that code that Google gave me, pretty simple here. I'm just gonna click save. And then I'm gonna go back to her website and hit refresh. And you can already see here, we have a little sponsors box. Now in this case, again, it's early on, so you're not gonna see the ads right away, uh, but this is, uh, for all intents and purposes, working. If I refresh it, maybe we'll get lucky here and we'll see. But you can see here, there's a little white square that's loading. So again, it's probably waiting to show some public service ads. But if you come back to this page in a few minutes, you're gonna see uh, that the ads will start showing up, or at least the public service ads will start showing up. And as time goes by, and as you publish more and more content on your website, uh, those ads will become more and more relevant. The users who see those ads will, will get more and more clicks on those ads, uh, or will, will click more on those ads just based on the fact that uh, Google kind of tracks their preferences around other websites, and if they're shopping for a vacation in Mexico, they might show them some vacation-related ads on your website. So uh, as time goes by, this gets better. Uh, so again, it's early. Be patient for the ads to show up. When they do show up, don't click on them yourself. And don't ask your friends to click on them. That's going to get you in some trouble and probably get you banned. So uh, don't say you didn't get warned about doing that. And uh, take your time, publish some really good content. And the more good content that you publish, the better quality uh, click-throughs you're going to get.